I'm Lynn Taylor and I'm here with Danny Kindell, MD of MBM Distribution. Now, Danny, I know that social networking is a massive part of business, but I'm a little bit of a skeptic. Can you just enlighten me on how, how it's useful for your business? In my business, it's a big challenge at the moment for people to embrace social media and how that can affect and impact positively on their, um, on their business. Where I see a big plus for the social media sites is that it's an opportunity for you to engage quite easily with your client base, to promote the products that you're mm -hmm. selling, um, to engage with them in discussions. Social media, two or three years ago, was a, a non-starter for any business. But now, if you haven't got that in your business portfolio, you are now starting to lag behind your competition. And uh, if you haven't got it, I think you need to have it on your portfolio. Explain to me, because I'm, I'm on LinkedIn, and I don't know, is it, is it worth me being on LinkedIn? Very much so, yeah. I think in this day and age, if you're not in LinkedIn, you're not allowing your profile or your company's profile to be at the forefront of people's minds, your clients' minds. Mm. Um, any like-minded individual who is professional in their route to market needs to be on LinkedIn. It's a tool now for business. That it's, a, it's a requirement now for any business to have a LinkedIn page, whether it be yourself as an individual or whether it be a company page. And I've heard you've got to be 500 plus or something. That's what I've been telling, people keep telling me. You don't have to be I'm, five. I'm, <laughs> I'm just being dragged into this now. Maybe I'm just a dinosaur. But At the end of the day, the more contacts you have on your profile, the bigger message you can get across. To, to your uh, peers within your group. So to have 500 plus contacts is a positive, but in an, it can be a negative because those 500 might not be relative to your industry. Whereas you may have 20, 30 contacts, but those 20, 30 are completely relevant and they're more likely to get your message. See, that's the problem that I've had. I've had people that contacted me that are outside my business. And so I wasn't sure whether it was, you know, like with Facebook when, yeah people want to be contact with you and you're not you know you're not friendly with them and Facebook know. Facebook is more of a what I class as an out of work okay. social media site whereas LinkedIn is very specific to business very specific to the commercials within a business hence if someone approaches me that I don't really know and don't understand and it might be outside of my business or my industry I don't generally link in with that person it's very specific to individuals that you choose to link in with and who are specific to your your core business and so what businesses have you got from linkedin many in the last 12 months the success of linkedin through our for, through our business not just linkedin but other social media sites including twitter and youtube has been pretty phenomenal um, youtube obviously interests me because of the video content with data cabling mm. tv expert and but linkedin especially it, it it just allows us to get our message across mm. in a in much more positive light. So how have you found that the video content that you're putting out there has um, improved your company? It allows people to see firsthand what we actually do. So we can talk about, as we're doing on, on this series, it's more about my expertise, but some of the YouTube usefulness now is actually driven by the manufacturers. So a lot of manufacturers that we supply on behalf of, they provide us with video content which is of their product set, which is of the individuals who've manufactured, the experts within their field, they are actually posting video onto YouTube, which is allowing me to use that content and put that out into my marketplace. So it's a fantastic tool to promote real-time product. So does YouTube allow you to keep in touch with customers? Yes, it does. And not on its own, not on a standalone point, but if it's linked in, with LinkedIn, social, <laughs> Twitter, exactly, <laughs> social media sites. If YouTube is used as part of that portfolio of social media, then it's a, it's a fantastic tool and it does allow my customers easy access into those video links. So what about providing help to customers? YouTube is, is a great tool. Again, if a certain manufacturer has produced a certain product, they can quite easily load YouTube video content on how to install the product, how to use it correctly, to post potential problems with the product set, 
you can't get that through any other medium other than YouTube. You've actually got someone who's actually standing in front of the camera with the product telling you while you're watching the pitfalls and the problems and the potential benefits of that product set. So to me, it's, a, it's an absolute vital tool. With YouTube, with the manufacturers doing what they do, posting and giving us products to post onto YouTube, that alongside the expertise and the skill set of my own internal staff and the experience that we've got adds a two-way mix to the client, my potential clients and my existing client base. So it's just adding value to what we are trying to achieve. Thanks, Danny. Thanks, Lynn. So if you're not already a member, sign up to Data Cabling Expert TV and get the next part in the series. It takes just a few seconds. Just click on the link by this video and you'll also get his social media contact details and his free download links.